brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Steve Wozniak Stephen Gary Steve Wozniak, also nicknamed The Woz, is an American inventor, electronics engineer, programmer, philanthropist, and technology entrepreneur who co-founded Apple Inc. He is known as a pioneer of the personal computer revolution of the 1970s and 1980s, along with Apple co-founder Steve Jobs. Wozniak single-handedly developed the 1976 Apple I, which was the computer that launched Apple. He primarily designed the 1977 Apple II, known as one of the first highly successful mass-produced microcomputers, while Jobs oversaw the development of its unusual case, and Rod Holt developed the unique power supply. Early Life Steve Wozniak was born in San Jose, California, the son of Margaret Elaine and Jacob Francis Jerry Wozniak. He is of Ukrainian and Swiss-German ancestry. His father was from Shervona Dibrova, Bukovina, Ukraine and his mother from German-Swiss background. The family emigrated to U.S. The name on Wozniak's birth certificate is Stefan Gary Wozniak. But Steve's mother said that she intended it to be spelled Stephen. And, Steve, is what he uses. Wozniak has been referred to frequently by the nickname, Woz. The Wonderful Wizard of Woz, the second Steve, or, the Woz. Woz, is also the name of a company Wozniak founded. The city of San Jose named a street, Woz Way, in his honor. In the early 1970s, Wozniak was also known as Berkeley Blue in the phone free community. After he made a blue box, Wozniak has mentioned that Star Trek was a source of inspiration for him starting Apple Inc. Origins of Apple In 1969, Wozniak returned to the Bay Area after being expelled from University of Colorado Boulder in his first year for hacking into the institution's computer system. During this time, Wozniak designed and built his cream soda computer with his friend Bill Fernandez. He later re-enrolled at De Anza College and transferred to University of California, Berkeley in 1971. Before focusing his attention on Apple, he was employed at Hewlett-Packard, where he designed calculators. It was during this time that he befriended Steve Jobs. Steve Wozniak was introduced to Jobs by friend Bill Fernandez, who attended Homestead High School with Jobs in 1971. Jobs and Wozniak became friends when Jobs worked for the summer at Hewlett-Packard, where Wozniak too was employed, working on a mainframe computer. This was recounted by Wozniak in a 2007 interview with ABC News, of how and when he first met Steve Jobs. In 1973, Jobs was working for arcade game company Atari, Inc. in Los Gatos, California. He was assigned to create a circuit board for the arcade video game Breakout. According to Atari co-founder Nolan Bushnell, Atari offered $100 for each chip that was eliminated in the machine. Jobs had little knowledge of circuit board design and made a deal with Wozniak to split the fee evenly between them if Wozniak could minimize the number of chips. Wozniak reduced the number of chips by 50, by using RAM for the brick representation. Too complex to be fully comprehended at the time, the fact that this prototype also had no scoring or coin mechanisms meant Woz prototype could not be used. Jobs was paid the full bonus regardless. Jobs told Wozniak that Atari gave them only $700 and that Wozniak's share was thus $350. Wozniak did not learn about the actual $5,000 bonus until 10 years later, but said that if Jobs had told him about it and had said he needed the money, 
Wozniak would have given it to him. On June 29, 1975 Wozniak tested his first working prototype, displaying a few letters and running sample programs. It was the first time in history that a character displayed on a TV screen was generated by a home computer. With the Apple I design, he and Jobs were largely working to impress other members of the Palo Alto-based homebrew computer club, a local group of electronics hobbyists interested in computing. The club was one of several key centers which established the home hobbyist era essentially creating the microcomputer industry over the next few decades. Unlike other homebrew designs, the Apple had an easy-to-achieve video capability that drew a crowd. When it was unveiled, computer in a briefcase, from the Sydney Powerhouse Museum collection in 1976, Wozniak developed the computer that eventually made him famous. He alone designed the hardware circuit board designs, and operating system for the Apple I Jobs had the idea to sell the Apple I as a fully assembled printed circuit board. Wozniak, at first skeptical, was later convinced by Jobs that even if they were not successful they could at least say to their grandkids they had had their own company. Together they sold some of their possessions raised $1,300, and assembled the first boards in Job's bedroom and later in Job's garage. Wozniak's apartment in San Jose was filled with monitors, electronic devices, and some computer games Wozniak had developed. The Apple I sold for $666.66. Jobs and Wozniak sold their first 50 system boards to Paul Terrell who was starting a new computer shop called The Byte Shop in Mountain View, California. On April 1, 1976, Jobs and Wozniak formed Apple Computer. Wozniak resigned from his job at Hewlett-Packard and became the vice president in charge of research and development at Apple. Wozniak's Apple I was similar to the Altair 8800, the first commercially available microcomputer. Except the Apple I had no provision for internal expansion cards. With expansion cards the Altair could attach to a computer terminal and be programmed in BASIC. In contrast the Apple I was a hobbyist machine. Wozniak's design included a $25 microprocessor on a single circuit board with 256 bytes of ROM, 4K or 8K bytes of RAM, and a 40-character by 24-row display controller. Apple's first computer lacked a case, power supply, keyboard, and display. All components the user had to provide. After the success of the Apple I, Wozniak designed the Apple II, the first personal computer that had the ability to display color graphics and basic programming language built in. Inspired by the technique Atari used to simulate colors on its first arcade games, Wozniak found a way of putting colors into the NTSC system by using a $1 chip. While colors in the PAL system were achieved by accident when a dot occurred on a line, and to this day he has no idea how it works. During the design stage, Steve Jobs argued that the Apple II should have two expansion slots, while Wozniak wanted six. After a heated argument, during which Wozniak had threatened for Jobs to go get to himself another computer, they decided to go with eight slots. The Apple II became one of the first highly successful mass-produced personal computers. Airplane Crash on February 7, 1981, the Beechcraft Bonanza A360 C Wozniak was piloting crash soon after takeoff from the Sky Park Airport in Scotts Valley, California. The plane stalled while climbing, then bounced down the runway, went through two fences, and crashed into an embankment. Wozniak and his three passengers, then fiancé Candice Clark, his brother, 
and his girlfriend, were injured. Wozniak sustained severe face and head injuries, including losing a tooth, and also suffered for five weeks after the crash from anterograde amnesia, the inability to create new memories. He had no memory of the crash, and did not remember his name in the hospital or the things he did after he was released. He would later state that Apple II computer games are what helped him regain his memory. The National Transportation Safety Board investigation report cited premature liftoff and pilot inexperience as probable causes of the crash. Wozniak did not immediately return to Apple after recovering from the airplane crash, seeing it as a good reason to leave. U.S. Festivals In May 1982 and 1983, Wozniak sponsored two U.S. festivals to celebrate evolving technologies. They ended up as a technology exposition and a rock festival as a combination of music, computers, television and people. After losing several million dollars on the 1982 festival, he stated that unless the 1983 festival turned a profit, he would end his involvement with rock festivals and get back to designing computers. Also in 1983, Wozniak returned to Apple product development, desiring no more of a role than that of an engineer, and a motivational factor for the Apple workforce. Even with the success he helped create at Apple, Wozniak felt that Apple was a hindrance to become who he wanted to be, and that it was the bane of his existence. He enjoyed engineering, not management and as other engineers joined the growing company, he no longer felt needed at Apple, and by early 1985, Wozniak again left Apple, stating that the company had been going in the wrong direction for the last five years. He sold most of his stock. Career at an Apple Computer Users Group meeting in 1985 after leaving Apple, Wozniak enrolled at UC Berkeley to complete his degree. Because his name was well known at this point, he enrolled under the name Rocky Raccoon Clark, which is the name listed on his diploma. One thing Wozniak wanted to do was teach elementary school, because of the important role teachers play in students' lives. Eventually, he did teach computer classes to children from the 5th through 9th grades, and teachers as well. Wozniak remains an employee of Apple and receives a stipend, estimated to be $120,000 per year. He is also an Apple shareholder. He also maintained a fine acquaintance with Steve Jobs until Jobs' death in October 2011, although, in 2006, Wozniak stated that he and Jobs were not as close as they used to be. In a 2013 interview, Wozniak said that the Macintosh failed under Steve Jobs, and that it was not until Jobs left that it became a success. Jobs called the Apple Lisa Group the team that had kicked Jobs out idiots for making the Lisa computer too expensive to compete with the Lisa. Jobs and his new team produced a cheaper computer, one that, according to Wozniak, was weak, lousy and still at a fairly high price. He made it by cutting the RAM down, by forcing you to swap disks here and there, says Wozniak. He attributed the eventual success of the Macintosh to people like John Scully, who worked to build a Macintosh market when the Apple II went away. Wozniak founded CL9, which developed and brought the first programmable universal remote control to market in 1987. In 2001, Wozniak founded Wheels of Zeus to create wireless GPS technology to help everyday people find everyday things much more easily. In 2002, he joined the board of directors of Ripcord Networks, Inc., joining Ellen Hancock, Gil Emilio, Mike Honor, and Wheels of Zeus co-founder Alex Fielding, all Apple alumni. 
in a new telecommunications venture. Later the same year he joined the board of directors of Danger, Inc., the maker of the hip top. In 2006, Wheels of Zeus was closed, and Wozniak founded a quick or technology, a holding company for acquiring technology companies and developing them, with Apple alumni Hancock and Emilio. From 2009 through 2014 he was chief scientist at Fusion I.O. In 2014 he became chief scientist at Primary Data, which was founded by some former Fusion I.O. executives. Philanthropy in 1990, Wozniak helped found the Electronic Frontier Foundation, providing some of the organization's initial funding and serving on its founding board of directors. Also since leaving Apple, Wozniak has provided all the money, as well as a good amount of on-site technical support for the technology program in his local school district. Un, U, Sun, an organization Wozniak formed to organize the two U.S. festivals, is now primarily tasked with supporting his educational and philanthropic projects. In 1986, Wozniak lent his name to the Stephen G. Wozniak Achievement Awards, which he presented to six Bay Area high school and college students for their innovative use of computers in the fields of business, art and music. More recently, Wozniak was the subject of a student-made film production of his friend's non-profit Dream Camp Foundation for High-Level Need Youth titled Camp Was, The Admirable Lunacy of Philanthropy. Documentaries Steve Jobs, The Man in the Machine Camp Was, The Admirable Lunacy of Philanthropy A 2009 Documentary, Geeks on Board A 2007 Documentary The Secret History of Hacking A 2001 Documentary Film featuring Wozniak, Triumph of the Nerds A 1996 PBS Documentary Series about the rise of the personal computer Steve Wozniak's formative moment on March 15, 2016, original short feature film from Reddit formative moment feature films 1999, Pirates of Silicon Valley a TNT film directed by Martin Burke Wozniak is portrayed by Joey Slotnick while Jobs is played by Noah Weil, 2013, Jobs a film directed by Joshua Michael Stern. Wozniak is portrayed by Josh Gad, while Jobs is portrayed by Ashton Kutcher, 2015, Steve Jobs a feature film by Danny Boyle, with a screenplay written by Aaron Sorkin. Wozniak is portrayed by Seth Rogen, while Jobs is portrayed by Michael Fassbender, 2015, Steve Jobs vs. Bill Gates, The Competition to Control the Personal Computer, 1974-1999, original film from the National Geographic Channel for the American Genius series. Television After seeing her stand-up performance in Saratoga, California, Wozniak began dating comedian Kathy Griffin. Together, they attended the 2007 Emmy Awards, and subsequently made many appearances on the fourth season of her show Kathy Griffin, My Life On The D-List. Wozniak is on the show as her date for the Producers Guild of America award show. However, on a June 19, 2008 appearance on The Howard Stern Show, Griffin confirmed that they were no longer dating and decided to remain friends. Wozniak portrays a parody of himself in the first episode of the television series Code Monkeys. He plays the owner of GameVision before selling it to help fund Apple. He later appears again in the twelfth episode when he is in Las Vegas at the annual video game convention and sees Dave and Jerry. He also appears in a parody of the Get a Mac ads featured in the final episode of Code Monkeys. 
second season. Wozniak is also interviewed and featured in the documentary Hackers Wanted and on BBC. Wozniak competed on season 8 of Dancing with the Stars in 2009 where he danced with Karina Smirnoff. Despite Wozniak and Smirnoff receiving 10 combined points from the three judges out of 30, the lowest score of the evening, he remained in the competition. He later posted on a social networking site that he felt that the vote count was not legitimate and suggested that the Dancing with the Stars judges had lied about the vote count to keep him on the show. After being briefed on the method of judging and vote counting, he retracted and apologized for his statements. Despite suffering a pulled hamstring and a fracture in his foot, Wozniak continued to compete but was eliminated from the competition on March 31, with a score of 12 out of 30 for an Argentine tango. On September 30, 2010, he appeared as himself on The Big Bang Theory Season 4 episode, The Cruciferous Vegetable. Amplification. While dining in the Cheesecake Factory where Penny works, he is approached by Sheldon via telepresence on a Texary robot. Leonard tries to explain to Penny who Wozniak is, but she says she already knows him from Dancing with the Stars. On September 30, 2013, he appeared along with Apple alum Daniel Kotka and Andy Hertzfeld on the television show John Wants Answers to discuss the movie Jobs. Personal Life For a fan during an appearance at the 2009 Macworld Expo Wozniak lives in Los Gatos, California. He applied for Australian citizenship in 2012 and has stated that he would like to live in Melbourne, Australia in the future. He is a Freemason. Despite not having faith in a supreme being, Wozniak describes his impetus for joining the Freemasons as being able to spend more time with his wife at the time. Alice Robertson. Alice belonged to the Order of the Eastern Star, associated with the Masons. Wozniak has said that he quickly rose to a third-degree Freemason because, whatever he does, he tries to do well. He was initiated in 1979 at Charity Lodge No. 362 in Campbell, California, now part of Mount Mariah Lodge No. 292 in Los Gatos. Wozniak was married to Candice Clark from June 1981 to 1987. They have three children together. The youngest being born after their divorce was finalized, after a high-profile relationship. With actress Kathy Griffin, Wozniak married Janet Hill, his current spouse. On his religious views, Wozniak called himself an atheist or agnostic. He is a member of a Segway Polo team, the Silicon Valley Aftershocks. Wozniak's favorite video game is Tetris, and he had a high score for Sabotage. In the 1990s he submitted so many high scores for Tetris to Nintendo Power that they would no longer print his scores. So he started sending them in under the alphabetically reverse name, Evertskind Sau. Wozniak has the condition prosopagnosia, or face blindness. Photographs Edwards, Jim. These pictures of Apple's first employees are absolutely wonderful. Business Insider, Macintosh creators rekindle the Twiggy Mac. CNET, Twigger Lives. At the Computer Museum, happiness is a good friend, was and Rod Holt. The Twiggy Mac Pages. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.